All right guys, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Vision Pro Developer Strap and we're gonna be learning about it. I had a lot of questions from many of you in Twitter or what's called today X, and we're gonna be basically answering those questions. I'm going to show you how to install it, what you can do with it, is it necessary? So I'll give you my honest opinion if you're going to be needing this or not, and if it's worth the $299 that it's currently priced at. So this is gonna be very similar to what we have already on the device, except that it's going to have a USB-C cable here, basically a female port that we can connect to it on the right side of that device. So I'll show you how we can do that. So first things first, let's get these open. And I'm really excited about it. Let's go ahead and get it open here. And we just pull that and then get this open. And we got this design up by Apple in California. And this is probably just one of those manuals that we normally get with the Apple products. So I'm gonna start with the, I mean, there's not much to look at other than this, that it's going to have the USB-C port. So, I mean, a little bit heavy. I would imagine it's a little heavier than the one that we already have installed. We still have the speakers, the special audio speakers, and I read that they are the same specs. The only difference that I'm gonna see that I think we're gonna have is this has different pins. I think the other one doesn't have all these pins. And then we also have a couple of different tapes in here around the actual connector. And this is fabric, so that looks really high quality. And then we have here where we're gonna be able to attach the current strap. I'm gonna look at this little tool. It's gonna allow us to take the, the current strap out. And this is also, I mean, pretty high quality as well. It's some sort of aluminum metal, it's it's heavy. But we need to take the light seal. So we take the light seal out. It's gonna put the light seal here so we have it close when we put it back. And then the next thing, we're gonna be basically just taking the strap out, so take that out as well. And remember, if we don't have the the actual cover, if you lose it for some reason or you don't, yeah, you don't have it, you can also use the polishing cloth, which I'm using right now here too basically protect my battery pack, but you can basically have it facing down with the polishing cloth beneath it if you wanted to do that. So the next thing is we're gonna have this tool right here that we can use to take this out. And it's really, really hard to see. If you can see, there's gonna be a very, very little open hole in here that you can use to take it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push it until I hear a click. And as soon as I do that, it comes out. So here is how you have the other one. And for comparison though, you can see that this one doesn't have any pins. And then this one has just a bunch of pins. Speakers look the same. And then it's just missing this part here, which is the ethernet connector. And then on the very back though, there's another difference. Like this metal, there's nothing in this area. This is completely flat. And then if you look at it, this is how it's going to be installed. So we have the special speaker basically pointing down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it slowly. And I heard a click. Okay, and then we're just going to install the headband back. So I just go ahead and connect it there. And then we're also going to be connecting this right here. And there we go. So we have here the other one that we just had. And then here's the new one with the new connector. So this is the developer strap that Apple provides. So let's see how it looks when we get this out. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to be wearing it so that I can show you how it looks. And then if you can look at the USB-C port in there, it's actually there. And I mean, one thing, I wonder if this rotates. It doesn't rotate, that's interesting though, because I'm wondering if we can change the, because this wheel, it's kind of like on the way. So I don't know if that was a design decision or did I put it in the wrong, in the wrong direction? But I think I had it on that, on that side. Let me try to get it out. Just gonna pull this and then pull this one too. I'm just gonna switch it. So just, let's just do this. And then connect it there and then connect this one as well. I think that's okay though, right? Now we have, okay, now we don't have the wheel here to adjust the headband. We have the wheel on the on the left side. And, and I think you can put them either way, but I think this I think this works just great. Otherwise, we're gonna have this adjuster on the way. 
And then this one is going to be basically sitting flat. All right, and the last thing that I gotta do is we gotta put the magnetic light seal back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in here until it snaps. And there we have it, guys. We have the new Vision Pro developer strap installed. So we're gonna start by connecting the battery pack to the Vision Pro and then the USB-C connector to our dev strap. Then you're gonna go into the privacy and security and we're going to be enabling developer mode that way we can connect the cable and then our computer it's going to recognize it once we do that and when you do that you're going to see that it's going to prompt us to trust this computer we're going to be entering our password so the first thing that you can do is you can open the app configurator and you can see here i have the usb-c connector and it recognizes my device we can see some model capacity state battery also some of the tech info including storage, also how many apps and what apps we have, profiles, and also information in real time about the locks, which makes this tool really powerful to be able to troubleshoot it, to be able to install and remove apps. So the next thing that I wanna show you is when you connect it directly, you're also going to be getting this in Xcode. So you can see that I have it connected. There is no uh, earth icon, and that means that we are basically tethered directly to the actual computer. We're gonna also register our device and then just go ahead and deploy it. So once you deploy, you're gonna see the experience that I built here with Unity. And this was just a prototype just to see if it was going to deploy successfully. I'm gonna show you how by having the actual desktop strap connected directly we're going to be able to deploy. We're gonna be looking at how long it's going to take. So it's gonna go ahead and start it. You're gonna see the timestamp in here on when it starts. And this is a normal video speed. I just wanna show you how long it takes. In reality, you can see that it's building and now it's attaching, installing. And then when it says run, that means that it's going to be running on the device. You can see here some of the times it took, you know, about 17 seconds to run in total and then five seconds to install and attach. So that is when you have it connected directly via USB-C. So on this next iteration, we're gonna go and look at that we have it now connected via Wi-Fi. So you can see on the bottom left, we don't have the device showing and I'm also going to remove the application so that we do the exact same scenario. And then all we really need to do is just clean it. And then I'm also going to go ahead and do play so that we keep the same process, the same test. A started timestamp should be showing now. Again, this is gonna be a normal video speed. We have building 12 out of 68, 57, and then attaching, we have a build succeeded, and now it's installing the application. And this is gonna be taking a little bit longer than the other one, and that's because this is now connecting and trying to deploy it to the device via Wi-Fi versus a direct connection. So you can see a started timestamp and the timestamp. It took 31 seconds and it took install and attach 19 to 20 seconds. So that is almost more than triple versus what it takes to do this via USB-C. Now we have this input temporarily not working and that's because I think Apple has a bug. They are expecting you to connect via Wi-Fi. In my case, we are tethered. We're connected directly. We're still getting input. I'm still you know, able to use my keyboard, my mouse, I'm moving things around and I'm also able to get log information. So everything is connected. I think it's just a bug on the Apple side. This is also a good test of why you would use this cable because there's a actual capture functionality that allows you to transfer 4K video from the device to the actual Mac. And when you do that, it takes time, right? So when you have it connected, it's a lot faster if you're connected, dedicated by using a USB-C cable. You still can do this with Wi-Fi, but it's just going to be a lot slower when transferring information to your Mac. In this other example, I wanted to show you that you can also send the experiences that you create to your device, either by Wi-Fi or USB-C. I did it via Wi-Fi only, and it only took six seconds, so I didn't really see a need to do that with USB-C, so it's fast enough. So do I recommend or not recommend the Apple Vision Pro developer strap? And that really depends on what you're going to be doing. We could be developers, but we might not be doing so many deployments. We might be just coding in Unity and then checking code in, and then something else, maybe automatic deployment is happening that generates a test flight bill. So in that case, I don't think you really need to get a developer strap, but if you're hooking up Xcode and then having the Vision Pro connected directly, 
in that case I recommend it because as you guys saw when we had the USB-C connected directly the time was about a third of what it was when we had the Wi-Fi connection. Well, in my case, I'm going to stay with the strap. I think it gives me a lot of functionality for what I need. I think deploying, you know, directly to the device and then saving me time. Anytime I do that, it's going to save on development iteration. So if you guys have any questions about it or if you're using it today in different, you know, use cases, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much, guys.